I love my bourbon, but I haven't tried a ton of other things. And a lot of people on the live streams are asking me. So in this series, I am gonna try some non-bourbons. Today, Crown Royal Peach. Now it comes with a really nice bag. I have no idea what to do with this bag. It'll help with the sweat here in the bar if it gets a little too hot. But let's give this whiskey a try. It's not about the bag. The bag is not the important thing. And again, if you watch these videos, you know I'm really bad at opening things. I don't have fingernails because I eat them. So I've got to find other ways to get crap open. Let's see about that cork pop. Is it a cork pop? It's not a cork. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Smells like peach. It smells like a peach schnapps. Like it, that's the only way I can describe it. it. It smells like peach. It's all one note, just peach. And that's it on the taste. Like that's not bad. I could see that being good as an ingredient in something. So what we're gonna do is on the box, it actually gives us a recipe. So let's try it. All right, so this is the Royal Peach Tea with Crown Peach. It says use an ounce and a half of Crown Peach, six ounces of tea. This is a much bigger than six ounce glass, so let's measure. I get a lot of grief when we don't measure, so let's freaking measure here. This is two ounce. We are going to use what, squeezed lemon. Let's give this a stir. And garnish with a lemon slice. We don't need no stinking garnish. It's not enough peach crown in there. What's, there's just not quite enough peach. I mean, I like the peach tea, not enough peach. That's not bad. I could see how that might be kind of tasty on a nice summer day. So all in all, I'll give Peach Crown not bad. I wouldn't drink it neat like this, but honestly, over some ice, this could actually be pretty good. As a mixer, exceptional.